Hi everyone! I hope you've been doing well. Um, today is Sunday, August 29th, 2021. Can't believe it's almost September. <laughs> um, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel where I talk about cross-stitch. Um, if this is uh, my first video that you're watching, thank you so much for checking it out and uh, I hope you'll stick around. <laughs> um, if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. It's greatly appreciated. And a uh, special thank you, too, to the couple of new subscribers that I've had recently. That is also very much appreciated. Uh, it's been a little bit since my last video. Um, because right a couple days after my last video, we did move into a new house. So welcome to the new house. <laughs> um... We've been here, I think about six weeks or so. Um, pretty good. We're all pretty much settled in. Um, everything is almost, almost everything's unpacked, uh, I think, which of course is then the perfect time for me to have to repack a bunch of stuff, um, because we're getting new flooring installed, <laughs> Pre uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks. Um, they're supposed to deliver all of the materials tomorrow and then um, get me scheduled for the actual install, which will hopefully not be too long. <laughs> um, but that'll be fun. Uh, I have to pack up a bunch of stuff again so that we can move furniture. Yay! Um, but yeah, we... Uh, for the most part, are pretty settled. The cats actually had the hardest time adjusting, which I was a little surprised and not really surprised. I wasn't surprised they had a hard time. I was more surprised that Tasha didn't have really a hard time adjusting at all. She was pretty much, okay, <laughs> cool. My bed's here. My toys are here. I'm good. So that was nice. Um, That's pretty much it. I'm still working from home. Um, a couple of weeks after we moved in, Loki um, cut himself. I'm not sure what he cut. I'm still not sure what he cut himself on. Um, I was trying to get him in his carrier so that we could go to the vet for his teeth cleaning. And both of the cats have really high anxiety about the vet. Um, and then when they're together, they feed off of each other's anxiety. So then they just, they're, both of their anxieties just keeps increasing throughout the entire visit. And it makes it really hard, uh, for them to examine them. So they have to have separate appointments. <laughs> they can't go at the same time. So, um, but they still hate going and they hate being in the car. <laughs> um, so I was trying to get Loki in his carrier and I don't know what he cut himself on, but he managed to, on one of his paws, uh, cut himself deep enough that he needed two stitches, and he had to wear the cone of shame for two weeks, which he was utterly miserable in. <laughs> he was so miserable, I felt so bad. Um, but he's totally good now, all back to normal. Um, Still got a little shaved spot on one paw, but other than that, he's totally fine. Um, and I think that's it. We've, yeah, just been, we didn't move too far away from where we lived. We're still in the same city. Um, so, uh, we, um, but it's, it is a, not an area of the city I've been in much before we moved here. So, um, we've been getting to know, uh, this part of town a little bit more, which has been nice. Um, but yeah, that's about it. As far as life updates, there's not much. We moved. It's great. <laughs> um, but I have been stitching. Yay! Um, 
I don't remember what order I stitched any of this in. So I'm just going to kind of go by what's in front of me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you what I've worked on. I do not have any finishes this time. <laughs> um, and then I do have some purchases to show. Yay! So uh, let's go ahead and just get started on what I worked on. Um, the first one, if I can find a photo for it. Uh, sorry, I forgot this one doesn't have a photo except for on my <laughs> um, tablet, which has now decided to take forever to load. Um. Okay. Where's that? Where's the other thing? I'm so sorry about this. I forgot that, um, I found it. This was on my tablet only, but I didn't have a thing printed out. Um, Here we go. If it decides to load. <laughs> Everything's running so slow. Um, all right. So this is my Carolyn Manning Designs piece. Uh, it is called Jewel. That's what it will look like. Hopefully my lighting is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure. We're going to be experimenting for a bit on where the best place to record is, I think. Um, so this is where I am now. Oh no, that's terrible. There we go. So I think somewhere right in here or here? Here, I think is halfway down the piece so that's cool um i am stitching this on 28 count joblin in the color nyx by under the sea fabrics and i put how many of these did i put in this check i put seven days into it um I think this was the first thing I worked on when I moved in, so I put seven days, but I didn't have a lot of stitching time those seven days. But I met my whip go goal for it for the year, so that was exciting. Um, and then I worked on... Oh, I didn't put those back in there. Remembrance by Joan Elliott. That's what she'll look like when she's finished. Um, sorry if there's crinkling and zipping and stuff. Um, I am hoping that Tasha sleeps long enough for me to finish recording this. And that means I've got to put stuff away. <laughs> as, as I go as well. Uh, so this is where she is at. So I also put seven days into her, which met my other Whipco goal on her. So then she got called for Whipco. Like, <laughs> so she's, I met all my goals for her on her for the year. Uh, I'm stitching her on 28 count opalescent white Lugana. Uh, and... The entire top half of her is finished except for beading. 
and I've got all the back stitching in there. She's got, she's very sparkly. She's got a lot of chronic back stitching, um, like in her wings and stuff. So I had a good time working on her. It was a lot of fun. Um, I was mostly working in this and like put the dove in and uh, made sure everything was matching up <laughs> to was. Hooray! So, um, she's making good progress on her. And then I worked on not that one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little. I was more organized than I actually am. <laughs> okay, so I worked on uh, Blood Rose from Heaven and Earth Designs. Uh, the artwork is by Chris Ortega. That's what she will look like. Um, and last time I worked on her, I had finished just finished the first page so I started my second page this time I worked on her for I think seven or eight days to finish my whip go goal on her and let's see if I can get this this is where we are at um, it's a little hard to see because the colors are so light and I'm stitching it on a 25 count antique white Lugana one over one full cross but I did get all the pink in this page is all done and so I finally put a third color in woo woo, the blue so all the blue on this page is done so this page all I have left is the gray to just fill in um, it was a lot of fun working on I had a blast uh, so, that's exciting. And then I also worked on my Dark Moonlit Angel. Uh, also charted by Heaven Earth Designs. The artwork is from Selena Finnick. Finnick? I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what she'll look like. And I was doing this one, my initial plan was, I was thinking of trying and doing this, um, ex color completing across the entire piece. Um, so the first color that I was doing was $37.99. I've since changed my mind slightly about that, um, because I don't trust my counting seals, even with gridded fabric. <laughs> so I think I'm going to color complete just pages. Um and still go page by page but um, I'm stitching her on 28 count easy grid easy grid yeah white Lugana um, here's where it is so I finished all the 37.99 on the first page and started in on uh, my second page of it so I think I'm going to finish the $37.99 on this second page and then come back up and do one of the next colors in this page and do it across both pages and I'll just color complete both these pages at the same time and then I'm just going to, I think, just do uh, I think that's a cat making weird noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, <laughs> but it was very weird. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I think I'm just going to, I am going to color complete 
um, but by page instead of across the whole piece because I just don't trust myself. But I put seven days into that piece as well. Um, so my whip go goal and it's finished. It has not been called yet for whip go, but um, I did meet the goal for it. And then I had a new start. So this is red from Mirabilia. This is my first Mirabilia. I was so excited. I'd been wanting to start her for a while and I just hadn't had a chance to. And then, um, I'm gonna mess this up. I think her name's Lisa. I'm so sorry if that's wrong. Um, but her floss tube channel is crossed by floss. And I believe her Instagram is the same. She does, uh, Mira Monday stitching. Uh, it's a hashtag. Mira Monday stitching. Um, where she stitches on a Mirabilia on Mondays. And I thought that sounded like the perfect excuse to start my Mira. So, I started red. Um, I started in the center. If I can figure out now where I am. Yeah. It goes this way. <laughs> so, I worked on her, I don't know, five or six days, I think. Um, and this is where I got. My lighting is not as good as I was hoping. I keep losing my sun. Um, but, so, that's where she is. I'm stitching her on 32 count linen in the color fog from picture this plus so it's which is not really showing up at all uh from what i can see in the video it's um not really white but it's like some a really um almost white with um brown modeling some really nice brown modeling in different shades so i had a lot of fun working on her um and i got a little bit of her uh cloak started this is the where did my <laughs> part of her dress so i started like right here and then I started in on like this part of her coat. So I'm really excited. I'm excited to get, she's got a lot of beads. Oh, so many beads. Um, but she also has two Karen water lilies, which I have never used um, before. So I'm uh, excited to get to those. So, and try out those. They're very pretty colors. She's got a lot of really pretty colors. So, ah. there we go. <laughs> She's <laughs> a little too big, possibly, for the bag I have her in with all of her stuff, but it works. So we're going with it. All right. Uh, then I have the two pieces I'm currently working on. Uh, the first one is uh, Dragon Attack from Artisy. <laughs> this is my oldest full coverage. Um, and this is where it's at. So I haven't, I only worked on it one day so far so I worked on it I pulled it out Friday and I didn't get a chance to work on it yesterday so all I did I've decided to start uh, all of these um, parked threads I'm going to work in <laughs> sorry I can't think of the word there for a second 
Um, so that's what all this is. Um, and then, then we'll see how I'm going to do it. <laughs> I haven't fully decided. Um, but I love this. I love that, how much of that castle you can see. Um, yeah. so the end of this page is actually like right here. So, and then I just have a partial page left down. I think it's, it may be most of a page, but, um, so it, it's only going to come to like right here. So that's kind of exciting too. Um, so this hasn't gotten much love this year. <laughs> the first time it came out, I think I put like 200 stitches in and that was when I had no stitchy bug. <laughs> I lost my stitchy mojo. Um, and so it, how it really hasn't gotten any work done on it this year. So I'm happy I pulled it out. And I will hopefully work on it this evening. And I'm stitching that on 18 count white Ada. So, and then the other piece I'm currently working on, which I'm almost, I think I'm going to work on it through tomorrow and then it will probably be finished for now. I'll probably put it away and switch to something else. So this is a dimensions kit called Magic in Motion. Um, and I am that I am stitching it on the kit provided 14 count black Ada. This is what he looks like right now. I love him. Um, actually, that looks really good in here. <laughs> I wasn't sure about my, I've been calling it the magic swoosh. I, when I'm looking at it, I haven't really been sure because it's just one strand half crosses. Uh, but looking at it in here, actually, it looks pretty good. So, um, I was working, I put in like the book and his sleeve and then I'm trying to get to the top so that I can just work all the down. Um, I had to frog a bit of this color. This is a blend and in the chart, so you're supposed to use three strands for everything pretty much. Like even all of this is supposed to be three strands, but no. <laughs> so I'm only doing two. Um, but all the blends is like two strands of one color and then one strand of a second color. So it's still three. Um, so I had done that for this part here when I first did this blend. And I didn't like it, so I frogged that out, and then I restitched it and added a little bit more down here of it till my my strand ran out. Um, and I like it a lot better with just the two, uh, one strand of each color. So, yeah, he's looking cool. I'm hoping that between today and tomorrow, I get up to the top um, of this swoosh, <laughs> magic swoosh. Uh, that's sort of, so I'll work on it today. Maybe I worked on it a little bit earlier. I don't know if I'll work on it anymore today or not. Uh, we'll have to see how long Tasha sleeps, <laughs> but, um, I'll probably work on it some tomorrow and then that will be at seven days, which will meet the Lipco goal for it, which, um, It has not been called yet for Whipco, but I will have my goal met. So, all right, those are everything I've worked on, I think, since I last saw you. <laughs> However, um, There's one other piece I want to talk about before we move on to purchases. I pulled this out, I forget when, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, to try and work on. And I did about 100 stitches and decided I wasn't having a good time. This is my super size Once Upon a Fairy Tale Max Colors from Heaven and Earth Designs. 
The artwork is by Amy Stewart. I love this piece. Um, it's huge. It's going to take me 50 years. That's fine. I have been referring to it as my lifetime piece because that's how long it's going to take. This is how far I am. So, not obviously far at all <laughs> compared, you know, to the size of the whole thing. Now, I'm doing this on 28 count white Lugana, two over one tent stitch. And when I worked on it in, when I started it last year, I started it, it was my new year new start for 2020. So when I started it then, and when I worked on it in December last year, um, I had a blast working on it. Loved it. Um, but I did try and work on it one other time last year and I put like 20 stitches in and I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do this. And when I pulled it out a couple weeks ago, I did the same thing. I put, I think I did this little block of a hundred stitches. No, I did 200 stitches. I think, I think I did these two blocks. And I just was like, you know what? I'm not having fun. So I have decided to restart Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I have a yard of 28 count gridded, pre-gridded, the easy, I think it's the easy count, easy guide, magic. I never know the difference. Um, but pre-gridded white Lugana that um, I had with the intention of cutting in half and using for two other full coverage pieces but I don't even have floss or anything for them um, and I had no plans to start them anytime soon so I'm just going to take that fabric I'm gonna restart doing one over one full crosses um, for my once upon a fairy tale and luckily this is a huge piece of fabric I mean it's ginormous, obviously. It's like, a, I think it's a yard. Uh, they actually gave me... I'm actually not sure the exact dimensions at the moment. Um, I know I had a bunch of extra. Like, I ordered a yard. They must have just sent me whatever was left <laughs> on it. Because it was quite a bit more than a yard. It was more than a yard. Um, I actually cut a whole section of the bottom off and repurposed it for two other projects. So, that tells you how big this piece of fabric was. Not full coverage. They're much smaller, but um, still. So, I will definitely be able to fit a different full coverage piece on this. Um, I have one in mind. Um, so, I will reuse this fabric um, and just sort of cut this part off. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I... Uh, I have decided to restart. Um, I have not done my whip go goal yet on this, which is seven days. It was already called. If I do finish it, I'll get a bingo. <laughs> so at some point, I'm not sure when this year, I will be restarting that on different fabric. Um, and I'm kind of excited about it because I think uh, that it's going to go a lot better. Um, if something I'm going to work on for so long, especially that's that big of a full coverage piece. I don't want to have a thing where I only like it half the time I work on it. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and, uh, it took me a while to make that decision. I was like, do I restart it? Do I keep going? Do I like, I'm not even halfway done with the page. So I'm like, do I finish the page and then decide? <laughs> but I just, I worked on it for one night and I was like, mm, no, I think it's best to just call it quits now before I get any further. <laughs> um, so before I show my purchases, uh, I can show you my updated Whipco board. 
This is what mine looks like right now. So the ones that were called for September were 15 and 25. So 15 is my Magnificence of Roses. So that will probably come out then sometime in September. It might be the one I pull out after I'm done working on Magic in Motion, my wizard. Um, and I already finished 25, which was my Hawkeye piece that I think I showed in my last video. Um, it only needed three days, so it was done. Uh, my roses need seven days, so. And then um, I'm finishing Magic in Motion, to, uh, the goal in it. Dragon Attack is the one that's the furthest away from its goal. <laughs> I've done three days <laughs> so far out of the 14 that I need. So I won't, it's not going to stay out for another 11 days. Um, I'll probably break that up. Um, we'll see. And then I still have a couple more, I think I have three days left in prior to hit its 14 day goal. And, uh, my dessert bears I haven't worked on yet this year. But, once I, and then, um, so all the ones with the blue X's are the ones that they've been called and I completed the goal on them. So I'm, the only one I'm not caught up on is Once Upon a Fairy Tale. <laughs> and Magnificence of Roses was what's just called. Um, all the ones with the yellow um, highlighter, those are ones where I've completed the goal, but they haven't been called yet. And then if they have just the orange stripes, that means they've been called and I haven't finished the goal yet. So not too bad. I do have a bingo um, along here. <laughs> hey, Loki. Um, so I'm pretty happy with this. So as long as I work on Magnificence of Roses and Dessert Bears and my restart of Once Upon a Fairy Tale. I will have worked, touched every, all of my whips, which was my goal for Whip Go, really. It was to at least put some work into all of my projects because last year there were quite a few that I didn't work on at all. So, success there. Um, I am planning on doing Whip Go next year, I think. <laughs> probably. I'm enjoying it, so I'll probably do it, but I haven't started, like, figuring out my board or anything yet. Um, that's too far away <laughs> to start that planning. But, um, all right, I guess we can talk about purchases because I have nothing else to show. So. Um, I went shopping on Etsy a, f a few days ago. Um, I actually went shopping on Etsy yesterday as well, and I bought some things that have to be mailed to me. So they will should be here in time for my next video. But I was on um, Kitty and Me Designs, and these have been in my cart for a very long time, and I finally went ahead and bought them. So these are the Colorful Cat series. I got Blizzard, um, who I love. So pretty. And I also got ah, why is it so big? Uh, Rainbow, which I love as well. Oh, can't wait to start one of these. So that was Kitty and Me Designs. They're so pretty. I've had these in my cart for so long. I think since I saw Deborah uh, stitch the sash, I think since I saw her, she started one earlier this year, right? And I think that made me go look and I put them in my cart and let them sit there since. <laughs> um, So, because that's just how it's been going. Um, then I was on uh, Cute Patterns by Maria. 
and I have most of this I don't know that it's like an actual series that she's doing but it seems like it might be um, I don't know if like it's still in progress or if she's done but I have most of them that seem like they're a series um, so this is Autumn Sketching by Maria Bravko uh, which is Cute Patterns by Maria on Etsy I think it's super cute. I love this little witch with her little fox friend. <laughs> They're just adorable. So, um, and then I was on uh, Needle Minder's Lair. Uh, it's the Etsy shop. Um, and I got uh, this one, which is the Gates of Moria from Lord of the Rings. So pretty. Love it. Um, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. It's um, one of my favorite book series. So I think that's, yeah, so that's all from Etsy. All the ones I got off Etsy. I will say, whoops. <laughs> um, if you follow the new releases from Hade, Heaven and Earth Designs, last week or the week before, um, they released three new Chris Ortega art charts based on Chris Ortega's art. Which I definitely have a ton of Chris Ortega, those charts. Um, I'm definitely, the next time there's a hate sale, we'll be buying a couple of those. <laughs> so be prepared if there's a hate sale before my next video. <laughs> but uh, then I also was on, um, what's their Etsy shop? I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop. It's like Genie Stitch or something like that. It's the... The Etsy shop that sells is the seller for uh, soda stitch charts. So I got uh, the Forest Playground, which it's just so cute. I can't. I love soda stitch. They're so cute. And I also got Dessert Village because, yes, look at that cake and cupcake. <laughs> They're houses. It's adorable. So, that's all my purchases. Um, and so that's all that I have. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, this video took longer than I was expecting, but I'm glad that Tasha's still asleep for it. <laughs> we made it. Yay. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that the next couple of weeks are good for you and uh, that you've been able to get stitching in um, or any other uh, hobbies that you have. Um, yeah, so hope your summer or winter uh, is ending well and I will hopefully See you next time. Bye.